Hello, and welcome to another view from the Digital Project Manager, where we test tools so you don't have to. Today, I'm giving you my take on Rike. And through this review, I will tell you how this tool approaches certain core aspects of project management and if there's anything that stands out. But most importantly, if there's anything that sucks. Let's get into it. Now, before I get into the core project management features, I'd like to review the onboarding because this is an experience that can either make or break a user. Let's see what happened. Onboarding with Rike was pretty straightforward. I started by filling out my account information and agreeing to the terms of service. A difference I noticed though, is that none of these steps were optional. So you will have to spend the time filling out the information they request. After that, it asked me questions to help me set up my first project, such as the name of it and a few tasks. In my case, I decided to fill out only the name of one task and then hit next. And just when you think you are done, Rike throws an extra thing or two your way. Unlike its competitors who opt for onboarding checklists that you have to complete performing actions, Rike gives you all the steps you should know in a series of videos. Then, if you navigate to the help menu, you will see help guides that consist of three quick steps to help you understand the view you are in. For other views like Gantt chart, or files, you don't even need to go to the help menu, as these guides will pop up from the bottom corner of your screen. Overall, I think Reich does a solid job at preparing you to use the tool. 10 out of 10. So when I evaluate the software, I'm looking for five main things. I want to see how the tool does with task management, collaboration tools, time tracking, document management, and resource management. So let's see how this tool fared in these categories. Here's what to expect when you create and manage tasks within Rike. As you can see, creating tasks and subtasks is very easy. The right-click context menus make this process even faster, as you do not have to go into the task cards to build subtasks. I selected the tasks and dragged them into another to create a group. Now, if you are used to building your projects using the Gantt chart view, you'll have to be careful. You can do so, but during my testing, I saw the tool glitch and show me a notification on screen that did not allow me to click on tasks, to open them or continue building tasks from this view. If you want to keep track of tasks, you can use the status column on the list view or use the board to follow along a workflow. Keep in mind that Rike will display some tasks nested into the parent task cards. But if you want to keep an eye on every single detail, I have something else for you. This view is called the stream view. And by adding this to your project, you will be able to follow a timeline that shows every single detail that's happening around your project. Here's how you can collaborate with others using Rake. Reaching others is easy since every task has a comment section. In these comments, you can mention your colleagues directly by using the at symbol. This way, they will receive notifications in their inbox and can reply to you faster. Notice that Rike also has a way to react to comments. In the comment section, you can also use the at as I needs and at followers if you want to make more people aware of some situation. However, if you constantly generate content in your projects, you will love this. Given you have the right plan, clicking on an attachment will open the proofing feature. In this feature, you can have conversations focused on your deliverables and keep track of the changes using versioning. How cool is that? Tracking time is easy as this feature is built into the platform. All you have to do is open a task card and scroll to the timer section. Here, let me add a manual entry that will save directly to the timesheets. I'll specify the time it took me to complete the task, as well as a brief description of the activity so it is easy for the person reviewing time entries. If you prefer working with a timer, let me show you something really cool. Go to the tasks you think you'll be working on during the day and click to start the timer on each one. Then, navigate to the top menu and find the time tracking widget. Once you open it, you will see that Rike has saved all the timers you recently started. You'll be able to quickly start and stop timers and save some time during the process. If you want to know how your project team is doing, you'll have to open the workload view from the sidebar menu. Here, 
you can create as many workload views as you need and specify the people you want to monitor. Once you finish setting up your view, you will see a list of your resources and what they are working on. Colors indicate allocation levels, and clicking on the timeline will give you additional information about the task that is creating that allocation. However, to see this level of detail, you'll need to enable effort for each task first. To do this, simply click on a task and select the enable effort option. Then, set the number of hours allocated to the task and let Reich do its magic. If, like in this case, one of your resources is over allocated, you can reassign by dragging and dropping. In this case, however, I decided to do something a little different. I pressed the key combination suggested to share the load instead. Now, my resources are good to go. Here's how you can access all your files in Reich. Searching through tasks is not fun. Therefore, instead of going to each task and opening an attachment, what you want to do is add the file view to your project. You can find it from the Views menu at the top of your project. This view is fantastic. It lets you see all the files attached to the project. Not only that, but you can filter through them, see which tasks they are attached to, if they need an approval, and my personal favorite, you can compare any two files within your project. Now that you know how the tool fares in terms of the core project management features, let me tell you which were those features that were great. As someone who has dealt with social media content creation at scale, this feature is paradise on earth. Using comparison mode requires you to have two versions of a file. As you can see here, I already have a black and a teal version of the same logo. Then, once you're ready to review the changes, you can open comparison mode. After you select the files you will compare, you will see your files side by side. However, you can open my absolute favorite, Overlay View. This way of comparing your files enables a draggable bar that will help you identify even the most subtle changes to make sure your deliverables are perfect. I think it's only fair for you to know if it's gonna take you days or months to learn this tool. Therefore, I included ease of use in my evaluation. And what I looked at was how easy it is to navigate the tool, but also if there's anything that I can do here that's easier than other tools. Here's why Reich's ease of use is above average compared to other tools. I believe this tool has found the perfect way to have many features and still have a relatively clean UI. They accomplish this by hiding things and adding extra options through context menus. As you can see, the sidebar is customizable and you can choose what's most important for you to see. This can also be seen in the project when you add views to them. There are certain views which will remain hidden until you choose otherwise and it's limited to three. This way you prevent visual clutter. However, the context menus has to be the best way to offer more with less. One right click on an item, like a project or a task, will display additional actions you can take. These both save you time and help you understand what else you can do with that one element you are selecting. And if you pair that up with the excellent onboarding experience when you first join the platform, mwah, chef's kiss. Here's how integrations work within Reich. Reich has over 400 pre-built integrations. To go to them, you'll have to open the profile menu and select apps and integrations. Once you are there, you can find the software you are looking for by opening different categories of software or simply scrolling. Once you find your tool, click on it and add it to your instance. Before I go into my final thoughts, I would like to tell you the pros and cons that I identified during my researching and testing on this tool. Here are Reich's pros. Its right-click context menus allow you to do much more with fewer clicks. Also, Rex comparison mode within its proofing feature lets you dynamically switch between two versions of a file. Finally, AI features are available in all plans at no extra cost. As for the cons, Rike can quickly become expensive. It is also unclear where responses to forms live within the tool and they don't seem to connect to projects. Finally, 2FA is locked behind the enterprise plan. After reviewing this tool, I must say I'm very impressed with Rike. 
I don't know how they managed to balance having so many features with having such a clean UI. And the tool is super easy to navigate, especially because of the amazing onboarding experience that they provide. And that is all for this review of Rike. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you've learned anything, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.